You've seen the build up of this unit, well we're going to slow the clip right down and I'm going to take you through all the steps and show you how to build this unit. The first thing to do is to open up the box, remove all the panels and locate that instruction manual. From there you can identify each one of the panels according to the numbering system. I've got all the panels out and I've grouped the like panels together. I've got a top and a base, two sides, two doors and a backing panel. It's as simple as that. What I'm going to do now is just sort out the hardware. Here's all my hardware. We have hinges for the doors, panel pins to secure the backing panel, wooden dowels, screws for the hinges, director screws for the panels, and we have some cover stickers to cover up the tops of the director screws. As for the tools that you're going to be needing, you have an Allen key which comes in the kit, a medium sized screwdriver, and a hammer to knock in the panel pins. Before we start the assembly, we're going to start prepping the base panel and the top panel. Now all that means is popping in the dowels into the allocated holes. Two in the middle, on either side, on both panels. When it comes to units like this, I always find it easier to assemble them with the front face facing down on a soft surface. Soft surface so it doesn't scratch the panels and face down so the panels can actually balance with their own weight and you can have your hands free to making the assembly so much easier. Take your first base panel, line it up on the floor, making sure that you have the colored edge on the bottom side, rough edge on the top. Take your side panel, Again, coloured edge on the outside and the coloured front cover on the bottom. That balances, keeps your hands free. Then you can just pop in a director screw on either side. Now I can cover those heads up with the cover stickers, which helps disguise it looking a lot neater. Pop on the top panel, again with the front cover facing down, director screw top and bottom. Remember, cover each one of the director screw heads with the cover sticker. We've got our last side panel. Again, cover edge facing down. Decorative side on the outside. Line up each one of the dowels into the holes. That's the structure complete. We're gonna pop on the backing board. Remember, keep the colored side or the white side facing inwards and then the rough side on the outside. Just line up the panel square with all the edges. Now it's important that when you knock in the nail that you ensure that the nail is going into the middle of the timber edge here. If you go too close to the side, that nail is gonna burst out and you're gonna damage that surface. Okay, that's our box section complete. It's now time to get our doors ready. You'll see each one of the door panels has a recess to accommodate the hinges and it's also pre-drilled so your alignment's gonna be perfect. Place the hinge into position, then use the 16 millimeter screws, and then just secure that hinge down firmly. Exactly the same thing for the next door. My hinges are in place, it's now time to attach them to the unit. I find it much easier to put the unit onto its side, flip it up onto its end. Now you can actually take your door panel Line it up to the pre-drilled holes. And all the way to the door is taken onto the floor. You haven't got to work with a juggling act trying to hold it into position if you did it on it sideways. Once you've got the door into position, you do need to fine tune the hinges to align the door. You'll see there's two screws on the hinge. The two screws at the back allow you to move the door in and out, whilst the screws on the front adjust the orientation of the door. Now remember, it's best to do that when the unit is in its final position and when the hinges are under the weight of the door. As you adjust that screw in and out, so you'll see the position of that hinge changing. There you go, the unit is complete. All that's left to do now is to add on some handles to match the existing unit. There you go, the assembly is all complete and the top box is in situ. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to the Builders Fan YouTube channel. There's a range of DIYs and how-tos for you to be inspired, get to Builders and get it done.